But sometimes I just get inspired by a thought or a vibe or a situation that I don't even have to personally go through, it's just the idea of it. Like in the case of my latest release song, Plaza, which by the way, you can and should go check out anywhere to listen to your music on. I was inspired to do that song by a reoccurring thought that I usually had, a picture in my head, like an old and tired cowboy just sitting on his porch playing the guitar, probably in the key of D to get those more bassy open D sounds. <laughs> And I had been trying to capture that vibe for a while, but I never really found something that was exactly what I was envisioning. And a couple of years ago, in one of those faithful days where you just can't seem to sleep and you wake up way earlier than you usually do, I came to the studio, grabbed the guitar, the full song came to me, and it was it. I finally got to scratch off that one inspiring image out of my head. Well, at least for now, before I want to do another sad cowboy song. Does this sort of thing happen to you often? By the way, in case it wasn't obvious already, go check out my latest release song, Plaza, and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because I'm releasing new songs every week, and I'm releasing new videos every day, twice a day. instruments where you can choose what notes you're tuning to gives you access to something that not many other instruments do which is to completely lose the ability to play your instrument the guitar is usually tuned in E and fourth with a slight difference between the third and second string where it's an interval of the third and shapes and licks in general get to be pretty manageable but if you tune your guitar differently like in the case of my latest released song Plaza I'm in a pseudo D minor 6 tuning with D A D F B and D completely inspired by this tuning because I wanted to do a little bit of a Dorian sounding song and while it is tuning all my chords can completely change, and many of the times I actually have to think about which notes I'm exactly playing to figure out which exact chord I'm actually playing. And it completely throws you for a loop, but that can be something cool. You also get access to a bunch of new ideas and a bunch of new sounds that you probably wouldn't do, or at least not do in the same way, if you didn't change your tuning on your guitar. Do you mess with alternate tunings often? Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because I'm releasing new songs every week, I'm releasing daily videos twice a day, and in case it wasn't obvious already, go check out my latest released song, Plaza. I tuned my guitar to this open D minor 6 tuning take advantage of that to do more creative and different things. Maybe I should learn a little bit more about its ins and outs. Power chord. And then you move major and minor chords. Like in the case of doing a minor chord with its last 13, this is your root, fifth, and third. Half a step up from the fifth, there's your minor 6, like you're moving from your one minor chord to your flat 6 major chord. And the same thing for solos and melodies, maybe learn your positions of the major scale. And just because it works that way, maybe it isn't too comfortable, so maybe you can change to... Not like it makes you completely decipher that new tuning, but at least it helps a little bit. I certainly had to do that for my latest release song, Plaza, which you should go check out. But I've done it for other songs, both this tuning and other tunings. What are your tips and tricks for maneuvering yourself within a new tune? Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because I'm releasing new songs every week, and I'm releasing new videos every single day, twice a day.
often a song should surprise you to be interesting. In my latest released song, Plaza, which by the way you can and should go check out anywhere and listen to your music on, I did want the song to have a bit of that Dorian feel, just a little bit more darker, like a bit sadder. I couldn't avoid doing a little twist where I move from a D minor to G major if I want to do a Dorian sound, or moving from D minor to a G minor sound to get that more natural minor sound. The difference between those two scales, different flavors of D minor, was just changing one note, just switching one chord from major to minor. But that note can really make a difference when I get you used to one sort of sound. And then I move to another sound. It doesn't sound bad or wrong exactly, it just sounds different. It keeps the song interesting and hopefully it keeps the listener on their toes. In case it wasn't obvious already, go check out my latest released song, Plaza. And leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing weekly songs and I'm releasing daily videos every day, twice a day. This is the actual guitar where I wrote my latest released song, Plaza, in. which by the way, you can and should go check out that song anywhere you listen to your music on. This is actually my brother's guitar. It's an Ibanez AG75. It's one of those full hollow body jazz guitars. And I had this vibe to do like an old tired cowboy song and it really felt like it should be played on the acoustic guitar. But at the time, years ago when I first made that song, I didn't have an acoustic guitar. This thing was the closest thing that I had to an acoustic guitar. So when I was feeling those acoustic vibes, I grabbed this guitar and started getting through it. When you look at it, you get to think jazz guitar or maybe old rock guitar, but it was enough to get me inspired. In fact, nowadays it's kind of dusty and it has the actual real high because I usually play it for slide guitar. But it's a great guitar and even if you don't play it too often, sometimes it's those instruments that are a bit underrated and can really spark some new ideas. Go check out my latest released song, Plaza. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing new videos every day, twice a day. I record with a metronome pretty much 90% of the time. But sometimes it's cool to be a little bit loose and mess with your tempo. But in the case of my latest release song, Plaza, which you can and should go check out anywhere to listen to your music at, I had this idea of getting a little bit of that old cowboy sitting on his front porch vibe. And when I pictured that scenario, that song wouldn't be locked into a grid. It would be a bit loose and have this flow depending on the intensity of the part, on what that hypothetical supposed cowboy would be feeling like. I found a general tempo that I thought would be right. When I started recording, I had the metronome on just for a couple of measures. Then it cut off and I just kept with it with my own internal rhythm that would sometimes be a bit faster, sometimes a bit slower. Even when I made a mistake or wanted to record a different section, I would cut my previous take at where the mistake used to be and play it a bit before that so I got the vibe and tempo that I was previously at and just kept recording from there on out because it gave the song a completely different vibe. Do you do this sort of thing often? In case it wasn't obvious already, go check out my latest released song, Plaza, and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow and stay tuned for more because I'm releasing new songs every week and I'm releasing daily videos every day, twice a day.
Well, here we are to the end of another week where I release a song, and every day I post videos daily, twice a day, talking about that song. In case it wasn't obvious, you can and should go listen to anywhere you listen to your music app. And again, in my YouTube channel, a full playthrough slash music video of the whole song. So again, go check them out if you haven't already. But just because we're done with this song, it doesn't mean that we're stopping. Starting tomorrow, I'm releasing a new song, which you can now go pre-save, along with the next songs for the foreseeable future. Check my link through in my profile or in the description below. And once more, there will be a playthrough slash music video, daily videos twice a day about that song, and other fun content that you might want to check out. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because this is only the fourth song out of many to come.